If you're starting to think that the clouds are here to stay If you're starting to think that they'll never go away If you're starting to think that the sky is always grey Well hold on That's the Hot Off The Press brand new Sprinkle A Little Sunshine single from award-winning singer-songwriter Kath B and much-loved children's TV presenter and entertainer Susie Cato. So great to have you both on the cafe together. Yeah. It is a complete honour. And that is such a great single. I, I love that you are singing along yeah. to it. Oh, fabulous. No, it's catchy, and uh, we're going to get a performance towards the end of the show. Nice. Everyone will have it stuck in their head. <laughs> so tell us about it. How did it come together? Well, we had a cup of tea in a cafe, and um, <laughs> we got talking about the songs that we would like to sing if we were writing together, and this little, Voila. Gem, yeah, this little ray of sunshine came out of that conversation, and it just grew and grew and grew, and... We had a lot of fun, didn't we? We sure yeah. did, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and Kath, uh, welcome back. Good to have you Thank on the cafe you. again. How long have you known Susie for? And is this something you've always <laughs> wanted to do? Um, well, I knew Susie when my daughter grew up watching Susie. Mm -hmm. All those years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, of course, I was in awe of Susie, like everybody is. And But I met her in a, um, a restaurant, actually. You were watching oh, yes. um, your friend Phil Madsen, Phil Madsen yes. sing, yes, 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 yeah. and so was I. Yeah. And then he asked if anyone wanted to sing, and my niece goes, she does to me, and so I sang a song. And he came and over and gave me a CD. Yes. It was the beginning of a beautiful it relationship. Was. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we have a ring, we have a CD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Kath, just, you're, you're living in Nelson. I yeah. am. So was, yeah. how did you collaborate? Oh, the internet is a fantastic yeah. thing. So, but also, Kath is busy gigging around the country. She's mm. visiting schools and, and uh, early childhood centres and things like that all the time. So she's up in Auckland quite often. So we'd get together and have a bit of a natter. She, she, she'll do the strumming and I'll make the cups of tea and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we also were able to just send the e emails back with right. the voice to each mm. other with the lyrics and things like that. Yeah. So technology's made it easy, which oh, is yeah. great. Yeah. And Susie, this surprises me, but is this the first sort of original work you've done? Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> Awesome. Well done. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit nerve wracking as well because I've been singing other people's songs for <clears throat> many, many years, <laughs> <laughs> and and loving it. Obviously, absolutely loving it. And having been a part of a children's radio show for gosh, nearly ten years, uh, we're on twenty-two radio stations around the country, and doing all those live performances and having two children of my own, oh, I'm going to cry. Oh, oh, my goodness. oh, it's been so exciting and mm. a little bit scary, as I say, because. You're putting your own words and your your own heart down when you're writing. Mm. Oh, I am going to cry. Have anyone got to touch <laughs> it? No, no, well, no, you know, and, uh, you are a national treasure. And the mm. thing is with you is that just about, I think, the entire country will know who you are. You've soothed them, you've looked after them, you've helped raise their children, which is, you know, why people get emotional when they meet you. The oh. excitement when Susie Cato's in the building is palpable. Oh. I can really feel it. And so, it's been you know. so special to have been a part of so many wonderful programs, mm. particularly you and me, but I mean, Susie's World and, and things like that. And um, back in the day, 3 p.m. and with Russell Rooster on the Early Bird Show, it has been wonderful to be a part of so many people's lives. And my Facebook friends are now kids that have grown up and that have watched me, all their grandparents, all their, their parents, and it's just, yeah, just really, really special. And Kathy, you know, I guess working with Susie was uh, something that you've probably really looked forward to. But how hard is it to come up with a song like the one that you've done? Because I guess it's a, you know, not as easy as we think. Well, actually, songs normally come to me quite easily. Yeah, well, look, you're, she's an award-winning mm -hmm. songwriter true, as well. True, And uh, so, yeah, it's the, I just love that part of my job. It's the favourite, my favourite part. Mm -hmm. And so just to sort of have someone who has been working with kids for so long to throw bits of an ideas, and we just mm -hmm. built it up, didn't we? Yeah. And, yeah. It's cool. What, when you're writing a kid's song, right, it's, it's obviously quite different because there's a level of education, I guess, you know? So how, how do you work that in when you're, when you're writing? Well, you can have purely educational songs, the ABCs, the 1, 2, 3s, mm. the um, Dial 1, 1, 1, which is a really important yeah. um, song at the moment. Um, but you can also just have songs for pure fun. Yeah. And this is all about having fun and looking for the sunshine on a grey old day. You know, things aren't going your, own, your way, then hey, look for the happiness, look for the things that you really, really enjoy, the buddies that you like to be around. Mm. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking of being around, will you be touring this song around the country? Well, 
we hope to be. Mm. We're both singing it kind of individually, aren't we? We are. And also... We've got an event coming up in Nelson, so yes, yes. looking forward to that next month. Oh, tell yeah. us more about that. Okay, so, well, I'll leave that in your capable hands because okay. you're coordinating it. So, um, I went to see Susie with my daughter many, many years ago mm -hmm. at the Nelson School of Music Auditorium, and now I'm singing on the same stage as Susie in the same place. But the one, it's just been done up, so it's brand new, well, it's not brand new, but it's been earthquake proofed and painted and mm, stuff so it's a really a huge thing for me to be um, you know singing on the sa same stage as Susie Cato. Mm. Oh, I bet. <laughs> it's massive. And quite a growing community especially now that there's the Kiwi Kids Music Group. That's right. Can you tell us more about that because I think it's really important. Well both Kath and I are founding members of it and Kiwi Kids Music is about 70 plus members wow. all singer songwriters producers of kids music who are working together to support each other to share each other's music, to um, I basically reach kids mm. with the best kept secret. Children's mm. um, presenters and children's music. So and, and you're doing it through different platforms as well, you yeah, know, yeah. haven't you? So you've got a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And so Kath and the various artists and lots of kids come onto the YouTube channel with me and show me their crafts. So we sing a song and then we show a craft and then you know, we're broadening everybody's horizons right. and making them aware of the music that's available. There's a Spotify playlist and all kinds of things. It's great. So, it's mm. great. And so, uh, there's so many great artists yeah. out there creating great kids' music. Thank mm. you, especially uh, you two. And we look forward <laughs> to your performance a little later on. Well, thank you. With their brand new single, Sprinkle a Little Sunshine, which is out today. And don't go anywhere as they'll be performing it right here soon.